this is bad. This is where you're supposed to measure the chain link from. You have the triangle, and then right next to the triangle, you have this indentation. It is not supposed to be touching. It's supposed to be about seven millimeters. That's zero. Let's fix that. Now for this project, let's talk about the tools we're gonna to use. This might be overkill, but this is a 22 millimeter. This is my car's. Uh, here we have a 14 millimeter. And then we have a 10 millimeter. If you don't have these fancy tools, you can just always use old school, this bad boy. You're also gonna need a little one, a little baby brother. Two of these will do the job too. It'll just take you a little longer. So here I have my extra long ratchet. I'm just gonna loosen this screw. Extremely tight. So on the other side, we have the 17 millimeter. Here we have the 22. And we're just gonna go ahead and loosen both sides so we can go ahead and adjust these right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and loosen this up. That's pretty loose. And now we're gonna start adjusting this that way. Here we're going to be loosening up our lock nut, right? We'll be loosening our lock nut on this side also, because we have two sides. And now we're going to go ahead and push this out. Start turning, and as you can see, as I turn, this will move back. So now if you could see those teeth and how they're aligned, I think I got it almost dialed in. Now I have to go work on the other side. We'll be loosening our lock nut on this side also, because we have two sides. And now we're gonna go ahead and push this out to probably the second one. So here it looks like I got the exact same space that I have on the other side. At least I hope so. So now if you could see those teeth and how they're aligned, I think I got it almost dialed in. Now I have to go work on the other side. So here it seems like I have the exact same space as I have on the other side. So I finally got it dialed in. Here we have that indentation. Push it up. And that looks like a good five to seven millimeter of travel. But the chain is not even touching. That's about seven millimeters. I went ahead and measured this with my vernier calipers. You can use measuring tape or whatever you have laying around. Now just go ahead and tighten all the nuts back up and you should be good to go. So I have the 17 millimeter on the other side and here I have the 22 millimeter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and gently start 